All right, guys, this is Doc M, and yeah, this is Factorio. Um, Factorio, how you call it in German, haha. <laughs> and yeah, um, for the longest time, people have been requesting me to play this game, and finally, I had some time because I couldn't really record because I had a lot of uh, doctor's appointments, uh, dentist appointments, and annoying, annoying stuff. And yeah. So now um, I decided I give a uh, Factorio a look and I learned a little bit about it. So I think I have a pretty decent start up plan. Um, definitely we're gonna play vanilla. There's no mods involved yet or anything. And so for the first few episodes, I have a good plan in which direction we wanna head. Um, now for later on, I definitely need tips and tricks. So what you need to do now in the comment section, all tips and tricks you can think of in Factorio. Everything counts. Every little bit helps. And it will help me, you know, um, get this stuff done here. So we definitely want to get our iron production up and running here as soon as possible. So... Let's turn that around. So this is a pretty decent thing you can do at the start. And then we're gonna add some fuel. It should be good enough. And we should get our first iron plates so we can get a better tool. And then we can go upwards. This is the first roll of the map. I think it's a pretty decent map. I have settings are on easy. And we have a bunch of resources. Uh, we don't wanna make it too hard on us. But yeah, we have uranium here. There's crude oil. And there is coal, there's iron right there, it's not the biggest deposit, but still, uh, yeah, big enough. And stone up there, copper, and we can expand towards this direction. I plan to make a, a build a bus and work with that, so we have some organization. We're gonna try to do some German efficiency with my limited knowledge of the game, of course. Okay, so let's try to get an iron axe. And then we need to walk up. Sorry, it's so dark, but it is what it is. I will make it kind of a rule to put down lights excessively. Uh, so that's the thing. Wait, where was the... Here's the stone. It's quite some ways off. And we have a lot of trees. Oh, man. Shotgun time, right? We need to clear the trees. Okay, so I'm going to stick around here now for a while. And um, we're going to get as much stone as can so we can get our furnaces up and running and our machines and things and uh, so we can get a decent iron and coal production and then quickly transition into getting more stone so we can lay out walkways everything needs to be planned well and ahead so um, i hope you are okay with that i'm not going into this blind i'm actually hoping you appreciate it a bit <coughs> that it took yeah, one, two days to watch a lot of videos on YouTube and to play myself, to try to learn as much as I can, at least for the starting situation. But yeah, I'm new to the game, technically. So if I do things wrong, don't freak out. Rather let me know in a friendly way. Um, and uh, wrong is always a term that is up for discussion. You know, it can be... There's several ways you can do things, right? All right, so I guess that's okay for now. While we walk back, we should start crafting stone furnaces. We need them and we need to ramp up stuff. Oh, that's the oil. I've never actually progressed that far that I was starting to get into oil processing, but I watched a few videos about it and it seems to be quite complicated. Well, in any case, we should start setting up getting some coal um so let's see do we have some more yes okay let's make some some of those and then we set up a coal production here good way to do it is kind of cheat the system a bit do a little loop like that loop all into each other and then this is a kind of a self-sustaining system and then we need to mine one coal and then we stick that in there. And now, <coughs> like what happens is, you know, this drill is running. It needs coal to run. It produces coal. The output is set to this thing. Now this gets one coal and so on and so on. And eventually all uh, they're all running. And then I can just go in and pick up the coal like that. 
And in the beginning I always found it useful to kind of lock the coal in here. Mm, you know, seems to be uh, easier to handle then. And now we can just pick up coal, run by here and fill up that stuff. We should actually use, oops, can control, right click, right for half stacks. Yeah, ah, there's some wood in there still, okay. And do this and then slowly but surely scale up okay yeah, fill this thing up okay that's good that will run for a while now and then we need way more of these um, <coughs> for that we need stone so yeah we have to go mining one more time but we can already start setting up stone mining so do we have wood no but I don't care. Oh wait, let's quickly grab our, our coal here. Oh, we can, that's a little bit. And grab those. So I learned a bunch of shortcuts already and things and I already downloaded a bunch of blueprints with balancers and smelting arrays and things. I uh, looked on the forums, informed me a bit about that stuff. So I'm getting there, you know, we well, hopefully, at least the starting, the startup, we will do a decent job here. So this, uh, let me see, we need a lot of stone. Let's quickly chop down a tree here, or two, or three. I want to get a bit of wood so I can get some chests. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do a bunch of them. Okay, a few chests, so now um, let's pick that up real quick. We want to set it up in a way that we at least use two mining machines to mine in there. So we set it up like that and we need to make one more, one more drill. That's good. Okay, and boom. So those two are going to push into that now and now I'm going to that and this will help us to get stone in the meantime as we will have to run up here a lot we can already start thinking about a path um, this is oh, I didn't save the one I made a all right okay then we'll do it later but we will have a walking path up and down here um, we actually let's see can we build another one no we need iron plates okay but let's grab the stone while we are at it and while we walk down let's make four more of these furnaces then we can increase our iron production down down below the coal I think is sufficient like that right now I mean could be a bit faster but it's I guess it's alright yeah that stuff ran out of fuel now so that's okay so whoop. Let's grab a whole lot of coal and yeah, kick that in here. So now this is going to run for a while. Get those out. Fill that all the way up. Okay, now we definitely want to get two more of these. And start setting them up here. So we get more iron and then we, we keep on hand filling that. Okay, and one, two good yeah we can take some of the fuel out here and help powering those just throw some coal in there and now um, we're getting more iron still I want to have more though so let's quickly come here okay yeah, how much coal do we have 36 again and now we run back up again well that's the grindy part the beginning of the game I'm trying to progress as fast as possible but I think we're having a fairly solid start here don't see any any monsters attacking us or anything like that yet so that's cool okay let's get to our stone let's see yeah we are getting some nice um, yeah we really need to start researching as well so here automation that is uh, really a key so we need to get the ball rolling with that too. Uh, okay. Yeah, we need copper to be thinking about that. Cannot go too crazy. Right now is super starting phase. 
Okay, let's get that. And let's make a bunch of stone furnaces. A whole lot. And while we're up here, we can already... Yeah, let's do the stone furnaces. Okay, we need more iron. Okay, yep. Then we can slowly but truly start laying out our path and stuff. Because it's, it's important to have some sort of orientation. Also later, if you have a car or so, you want to, you know, move about fast. And then we want to have these walkways so we don't get stuck everywhere. Okay, quickly grab some of that. And feed them all with coal. Okay, now brap, get all the sweet iron. Now we got 100 plates, nice. Now we're gonna do one, two, three more here. I think that should be enough if you have six running to get us going at the start. And then we really need to tap into copper super quick. Where was copper? Wasn't there any copper close by? Ah, oh yeah, it's right here in between, pretty much right in the middle of this stupid forest. Ah, oh yeah, it's there, up there. Okay. Mm. Boom, boom. Boom, just put him down in a row like that and then we can easily tap into that. Whoop. Just walk by and just snatch everything. Okay, get some coal. Blup. Need to load those those guys here in the back. Okay. Nice. We're producing. And we just walk by like this and snag everything. Oh, those are empty. Okay. Get some more coal. Okay, filled up, we're running. Get some iron plates out, here we go. Cool, now we need to tap into the copper. Uh, how many stones do we have? We have a bunch of furnaces, okay. The copper, oh my god. This is terrible, this forest here. Oh, oh, I need to I need to get a shotgun and then we're gonna clear a nice path through here. For now I just wanna get through and get to the dang copper. Jeebus. Why does it have to be in the middle of a forest? It's terrible. Okay. Uh yeah, we need copper now. So we can get the research going and get our first automation. So we have automatic research. That's the goal for the first episode. Should be able to pull that off. We need we need uh, energy. It's also something we need for the first episode. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah, we cleared a little bit of space here. We don't want to overdo it. And now make some of these. Yeah, in the meantime, we can clear a bit more space. Ah, I wish I had a shotgun already. I would just blast these trees. <laughs> okay. I wish you could set forests on fire. Can you? I don't know. That would be neat. It would be a good time saver. Just burn down half of this forest here. Yep. Having an autosave. Okay, we cleared some space here. I think that's good enough. So we're gonna set up the same thing. This is only temporary, so it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned or something. Let's say we work with three to start with, and then we go like one, two, three. And, oh, we have no coal. Now I need to make my way out of this stupid... Where am I? I'm stuck somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna chop my way through here a little bit. Uh, but we have no steel axe yet, so yeah, it's time consuming. Really annoying <laughs> that we have this stupid forest here. Uh, yeah, I need to get a shotgun as soon as possible and then we need to clear this. Okay, let's get all that. Let's get all that. little bit of coal in there that keeps running get all that coal how much do we have 40 uh, pick up 
a little bit more so we can keep yeah there's emptiness there yeah i need to balance my fuel better mm. oh lordy this is the tightest forest ever but you know whenever i go back and forth here i will chop down a few trees and um, then we should be okay Slowly but surely we will get a decent way through here. <laughs> Don't want to chop this whole episode, you know, and clear it. If I would be playing on my own, I would just uh, spend the time now and clear it all out. What the heck did we just chop down? Ah, we, ha we have no eggs anymore. Let's make one. That's quicker. Okay, let's clear a little bit here. Okay, now get some coal in there, get this thing going, then clear some more trees, then we run back, then we can get the copper out of that thing and start our basic research. Okay. Oh my god, these trees, guys! Terrible. Okay. Oh, we're out. <laughs> Our mine out there in the woods. Okay. Brrrp. Get all the coal. Fill these bad boys up. Here, take it. Take it in. Okay. That's running now. We have a ton of wood. <laughs> we could have used that to for the burner as well. We're getting stone. Okay, our next goal is to get energy up and running. To do so, we need a little bit of copper and we, we can now get our energy going, which is the key key factor for the, the research we, wa we want to achieve. Okay. <laughs> I hate it here. Here it gets better already because we we're chopping down some. Okay, <coughs> we got our first copper. So let's get one of these. Um, two boilers, four steam engines. Should be a fairly decent start. And you know what? I'm gonna use this wood here. Boom to power those two in the meantime. I mean, we don't need that much wood. Boom. See? We can get some more later. Okay. We'll have to do some chopping here anyways. All right. So, now we have a bunch of copper on us. And that is a good thing. So, let's look. Here is... Oh, man. Dang it. There was a stone... There was stone that was closer by. We need to move what we have upstairs in a later. Okay, yeah, we will move that. We have water here. Here we have a lot of space. And I feel, yeah, that's good. Um, we need a bunch of those, a bunch of those. And then we're gonna start our water production for our steam engines. And Yeah, this seems right. And we always want to do this because <coughs> underground piping is key because we also want to run through here from time to time, <laughs> right? Okay, so this goes here. Two in a row. Nice. And then we come in with our boilers. Actually, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I should flip this, actually. I want to build downwards. We have enough space. Maybe we want to put some other stuff here. Okay, uh, let's flip this this way. And then we come in with our boilers, electric generator thingies. Boom, boom. Okay, that is done. With a little bit of wood, because we also want to do some electric poles and stuff. We need that now soon. Okay, yeah, 
should be good for now. So, um, water comes in, blah, blah, blah. This needs fuel. We can grab that from upstairs. And now we need a bunch of electric poles. That's good. Now let's run up, up here and get some more coal. And um, let's fill these bad boys up. So we start producing. Boom. And we're getting our electric poles. So let's say we have one here, one there. So we reach everything there and there. Okay, nice. We're producing energy. So we can take it from there. Uh, what's your problem? What? You are connected. Yeah, all good. Just nothing is draining from it. Okay, we're cool. So next thing, um, we need to do a laboratory. And um, wait, this thing is going to expand down here. So here we have a nice, nice space to do um, a lab, lab setup. Um, and it's also kind of close to, yeah, it's all right. Okay, um, is the lab done? It's putting it together. Give me that lab. Nice. Okay, let's put that here. And of course it wants power. So let's give it some power. Bang, and um, now we need to make those guys uh, 10, I think it was, and then we put them in here, and then we're good. Then we can do our research and then do the automation, um, get the research done for automation, and then we can do our automatic signs. And then we have a pretty decent start, I would say. So it's gonna take a while. So let's toss those things in, and we're starting to do automation research. Nice. So let's check. Yeah, we have a lot of capacity to still produce. And at the moment we um, kilowatts, 60 kilowatts we're consuming from the lab here. That's pretty much it. Nothing much more happening. And um, yeah, let's toss the rest of our red signs in here. Let's quickly finish that. And then we can go up and get some coal and keep our copper and stone running. Okay, so that's working. Okay, I have a lot of coal now. Let's toss some in here. Still have a lot of coal. Okay, let's head up into this uranium here in the woods to. So over there, I can see there is some blinkiness. Uh -huh. Here needs to be some chopping. Still stuck? Okay. Like ants, you know? We will go through here like, you know, herds of animals. It's like an animal trail. Eventually, you know... We have a passage through here. And then we have a shotgun and think, well, when we had the shotgun, it would have been way easier. But whatever. Oh, and we have our first research done. Automation. Very nice. That is a key research. And I would say the next thing, yeah, turret's not so important here. Military. Yeah, so we get the shotgun because we have all these forest stuff here and it's getting getting really annoying. Okay, let's fill all this stuff up and then get all the copper out. Okay, that's that. And now it's time for us to, hey, do our automatic signs. We want to do that. In the meantime, we can already do one more lab. And we need these bad boys here, a few inserters and a few chests. And with that, um, we should be able, and we need uh, 
two of these. And yeah, that would be actually the end of the episode, but we will definitely finish that project and get our automatic signs up and running. So what we want to do is, okay, yeah, we need to wait, we need some of those. So we want to insert into our laboratories. So um, yeah, you insert here and it's going to be from this chest and you insert to this side also from this chest okay this is looking good and it's you insert into this laboratory all right and now um we actually wait let me quickly remove that we'll put that down later and now we want to produce red signs. So that means um, in this chest we need to somehow get red signs. So let's say we insert from here and we pick up from a factory. This factory will have to do red signs. Red signs will require copper plates and iron gear. All right. That means we want to have one chest where we put both of these ingredients in. So that means, and also we need uh, gears, it said. So we should probably set that up something like that. So let's say from here we pick the gears and put it in there. And then um, we have this one chest here and from this one chest this guy picks up iron and this guy picks up copper and now if we put let's say copper and iron in here and give it some power we should automatically producing signs let's try out if our theory is correct okay let's drag that over here uh, uh, yeah whatever it's not the most efficient cabling here, but who cares? Okay. Uh, is this cabling? No, no, no. We can't say who cares. We the, the cabling is it needs to be d done properly. Otherwise, you know, you end up in chaos. And we don't want that. So here, here that powers those two. And then we want to put one right here in the middle and one right here. Right? And now everything should be powered. Now we need to set recipes. Assembling machine. Wait, is it? Oh yeah. So you do gears. Right? Yeah. And you? Oh wait, this needs to be flipped. Here we go. Okay, we're producing signs. Boom. And it goes into our science labs. And we will spread it left and right properly and we should be we should be good right yes nice okay and now 280 kilowatt hours and yeah but we're using maybe five percent of our capacity right now sweet so we have automated signs at the end of the first episode i think that is pretty good we can progress now and yeah the next steps is we need to think about um smelting expansion and so on and for smelting expansion this shall be interesting have a pretty cool setup for that but we also need some small other things uh, but yeah i'll address it next episode thanks for watching see you soon hope you enjoy factorio make sure to leave a lot of likes if you um if you think this is gonna be a cool show right see you next time bye guys